our show hair transplant step by step fue episode 5 today we are talking about implantation in fue in the previous episodes we talk about extraction and details of it now let's see how implantation is done implantation is putting in the root back in the bald skin where we want to grow hair there are different aspects of implantation which we which one needs to know and master about technique and tools these are two interrelated one that how you are performing implantation now for implantation we need to create a hole in the skin where we need to slide in the hair that hole either we can create all the holes at once and then go on implanting hair one by one in those created holes this method is called as pre made slits you are making all the slits beforehand and then implanting them uh, implanting hair inside them one by one or you can use stick and place technique in which you create a hole and then you implant in hair you create a hole and then you implant in hair you create a hole and then you implant in hair so you are doing the creation of wound and implantation at the same time this is called as stick and place technique for pre made slits the tools which are used are mainly needles of a specific diameter or chisel blades of specific diameter or some other slit making instruments for stick and place technique again either you need to use any of the previously mentioned tools for creating the holes and use specialized forceps to put in hair inside those created wounds or you can use implanter pens something like this so basically it's a pen type of device it just got a needle at the end this needle goes in the skin and the hair graft is loaded inside the pen needle goes in the skin and then you push the plunger from behind and then the hair graft is implanted inside the skin now all the techniques and methods they have their own advantages and disadvantages a surgeon prefers or chooses one depending upon his or her comfort and expertise but the whole idea of different methods is you should not be damaging the hair graft at all the root inside because hair root has got stem cells which allows them to grow in new place and these stem cells are concentrated mainly in the bulb portion and in the bulge portion more so in the bulge portion so during implantation if by any means you crush any part of the root you either end up getting no growth or less growth or qualitatively less good growth so your implantation method should be no touch it should not be touching the root at all if possible and if at all it is touching it should not be damaging the graft at all the way we handle our grafts it matters a lot for proper growth sometimes with healthy grafts we have a little bit of fat tissue remaining below the bulb of the graft sometimes we can handle them from the fatty tissue around it or if any of the shaft portion of the graft infundibulum to the isthmus so basically any of the hair root portion of the graft then we need to be gentle enough in order to just hold it but not crush it so depending upon your expertise you can decide which method you are comfortable with so once techniques and tools are taken care of then the next question is density what should be the density of implantation density is in 1 square cm area what is the number of grafts that you are implanting in as we discussed in previous episodes this density can be as low or optimum as 40 it can be as high as 65 to 70 or sometimes even higher now we need to remember here that where we are putting in hair there is a live skin there the moment you puncture the skin you are damaging the skin so if you are puncturing it multiple times all those holes should be optimum enough so that your skin is not completely damaged what if you go on attempting 65 to 70 punctures in a 1 square cm area and then you end up damaging whole whole of the skin and there is no skin left out for the new hair to grow and what if you just go with 40 density and then you have lots of skin left out in between so that your hair growth looks sparse so you need to have you need to take a decision which is optimum number of hair available the quality of hair and of course the number of density the, the kind of density that you are desiring as at the implantation area 
The idea is whatever hair you are putting in here should be able to get enough blood supply for the hairs to grow. This has a lot to do with the diameter of punch that you use in the first place for extraction of the hair. With a larger diameter punch, you have thicker grafts, which needs larger holes, which is more damaging to the skin, in which you end up giving less density. But then, with a less diameter punch, you have thinner grafts, you end up giving more density, but then the hair itself were damaged in the extraction process, not in the implantation. So there is a very thin balance between the density which is desired and the density that you can give and the skin which can support the number of grafts growing out of it. And you need to be really, I would say, careful and expert with it in order to give proper and naturally looking results. Now coming to art of implantation. Now this is one of the most important aspect in hair transplant. Along with all the science that we discussed, how you are implanting and how those implanted hair are growing, that is something which will determine all your results. How naturally looking your growth is, it has nothing to do with the numbers of the grafts, but it has, it has a lot to do with the outlook of a patient out of one hair transplant procedure. So when it comes to art, there are multiple parameters which decide that how natural it is looking, the direction of the grafts, the angle of the hair at which they are implanted, whether they are coming out like porcupine hair or lying flat on the skin so that patient is just not able to manage them or they are at a proper angle the way they should be so that patient is able to comb them properly, style them properly and can often change their style time to time depending upon their requirement. So angle, direction of the hair, depth of the transplantation, density of the transplantation hairline design which is another important aspect in implantation the hairlines should be absolutely naturally looking it should not be blotchy or patchy that anyone can make out that these are the transplanted hair with the hairline design even the number the color the texture of the grafts they are putting in they also matter they also decide the outcome of the hairline that you have created so when it comes to art of hair transplant hairline design and the implantation art that is something which counts most and you need to be careful so that you can have natural looking outcomes. Friends this was a very brief about implantation I hope it helped you to solve most of your doubts if you have any questions you can definitely let us know but we'll talk more about it during our subsequent episodes. Thank you.